Hey guys, this is Martin. And today I want to show you a technique you can use on LLMs and ChatGPT, for example, on any large language models, um, whereby you do not enter ASCII text into the prompt, but you basically put emojis in, right? So, and there is this website, um, which is called vistasocial.com and then forward slash social media tools and then text to emoji translator. And then you can basically come here and you can select your language, right? And then you put your text in. So for example, if I put in the text, what is the weather in Madrid? Then um, I can hit translate and then it gives me something like this, right? Like, so if I scroll in, so this is basically what is the weather in Madrid um, in emoji format, right? So if I then come over to ChatGPT and I put this in here, you can see like I put this, the very same query, the emojis, I put this in here and then it basically gives me the output and says the current weather in Madrid, Spain is quite warm and mostly dry, blah, blah, blah. And so this is pretty cool. And uh, the reason for that it's pretty cool or not cool, um, how, how, however you, you want to phrase it, is that very often if you translate into an encoded format, like into emojis, for example, or into um, base 64 encoding or into HTML encoding or something like this, you may bypass filters. So I'm not showing you this because I respect the YouTube terms and conditions, but um, you could potentially um, ask for things. ChatGPT normally in ASCII text does not give you the response or says like, hey, sorry, I'm not, I, I cannot do this, but you may be able to bypass it when you use emojis, right? So this is related to prompt injection. This is related to jailbreaking. I just want to sh show you this, that you do not necessarily just interact with it via text or ASCII text, but you can also do something like this. I hope this makes sense. And that's all for today's video. Thank you.